My name is Katie Wallace and I've been at Emanuel since 2015. I am married to a wonderful husband uh, named Reese. We had our first daughter, Emerson. She's now five in 2018. And then in 2021, we had a big surprise of having twins, a boy and a girl. Um, our son's name is Rowan and our daughter's name is Ellie. And then we had another big surprise in 2022 when we had our son, Holcomb Wallace, and he's now two years old. My relationship with Jesus was probably one that I think we all can relate to initially. It was one of kind of convenience and complacency. I felt like I just talked to him when I felt like it, when it was convenient. And like a lot of people, I think that relationship changed when I got older and I started to face a lot more you know challenging personal circumstances and when our twins were born um, we knew that something just seemed a little bit off with our son Rowan and uh, long story short he was ultimately diagnosed with a uh, infectious disease uh, called cytomegalovirus and it can cause a range of conditions from you know deafness cerebral palsy seizures things like that and so we were you know, in a situation where I now had, or we now had three kids, three and under, uh, one with a completely unknown future. And I came to realize that that was probably one of the, the scariest things is not knowing what's gonna happen. I was really upset because I felt like, you know, we are pretty good people. We, you know, why would this happen to us? And. It was interesting because at the time the relationship was all based on kind of anger and blame, but I didn't realize at that time that that was really the beginning of my like true relationship with Jesus. We joined a Bible study with Jeff and Rhonda Story, and that was when we really started to become a part of a church community, and they helped us a lot realize, you know, have a more deeper understanding of the Bible. I was baptized when I was an infant because I grew up uh, in a Lutheran church where you got baptized as an infant. Over the years, I came to realize that, you know, my relationship with Jesus has changed so much and I never have had the opportunity to profess my faith uh, in public. And so I think once I came to realize that baptism is really supposed to be a symbol of your dedication and your love for, for Christ, uh, I decided that it was time for, uh, for, for myself to get baptized. It was a great opportunity to reflect on my journey with God, which I had never taken the time to do. And I kind of had this realization that, you know, I was waiting for myself to be good enough to get baptized. And that that's obviously not the point. Uh, the point is, you know, do you love Jesus? and do you dedicate your life to Him? And if the answer to that is yes, uh, there's no time like the present. Emmanuel has just really been a tremendous blessing to us. You know, even though it started out as just a way for us to, to get to church each week, they have become such a huge family to us. I really, I, I know without a doubt that, you know, without Emmanuel's help, we really wouldn't be in a place that we are today, especially with our you know, relationship with God.